Hello students, welcome to our flipped lesson on nominative, objective, and possessive case of pronouns. Today our goal is to understand how to use the correct case of a pronoun. Some of this is going to feel very obvious, but we're also going to talk about some tricky situations where people tend to choose the incorrect case of a pronoun. So first of all, let's talk about the nominative case. The nominative case of a pronoun is used when the pronoun functions as a subject of a sentence or a subordinate clause or as a predicate nominative. And Remember that predicate nominatives are those nouns that follow a linking verb. Now you should write down the list of nominative pronouns. They are the words I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Let's take a look at some examples in sentences. In the first sentence, I, me, went on a trip. The pronoun is the subject of the sentence, so I'm going to take the nominative case and say I went on a trip. In number two, Carlos and I or me went on a trip. Let me give you a hint. When you have a compound choice with a name and a pronoun, try dropping the name and the conjunction and try just the pronoun. Would you say I went on a, went on a trip or me went on a trip? Because it's the subject, you would say I went on a trip. Number three, the student who loves English is him or he. Now, most people are probably going to be tempted to choose the incorrect case of the pronoun in this sentence. Because of the linking verb is, I need to choose the nominative case. The nominative case of a pronoun is the word he. So it is grammatically correct to say the student who loves English is he in the sentence. Now, this sounds really, really weird. So let me give you a hint. You can try switching the sentence around when a linking verb is used. So we have a linking verb. Let's try flipping the sentence around. The sentence can read, he is the student who loves English. Now the sound sentence sounds grammatically correct when I make he the subject of the sentence. He is the student who loves English. Now, um, and the ad objective case of a pronoun is used when the pronoun functions as a direct object, indirect object, or the object of a preposition. Write down the objective pronouns. Those words are me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. So we probably should spend a quick minute reviewing um, the three types of objects from when we learned them earlier. Now remember a direct object is the one that follows a... Oh, sorry, follows an action verb. And remember that there was a formula that you could use. You would find the subject, find the action verb, and then you ask who or what, and that who or what is your direct object. Now an indirect object um, is also after an action verb, but it comes between the action verb and the direct object. So it's between action verb and direct object. And that formula is similar. Find the subject, find the action verb, ask who or what to find the direct object, but then you say to or for whom or what to locate the indirect object. And then your uh, objects of prepositions, those just follow a prep. All right, let's take a look at some examples. The group found Rachel and I, me, after a day-long search. All right, this is another example when you have a sentence, a conjunction, and a pronoun choice. So let's take out the name and the word and and try the pronouns and also talk about how this is functioning in the sentence. So first of all, I see the action verb found. Group is my subject. And when I see an action verb, I need to look for a direct object. So if I say the group found who or what, the group found Rachel and I or me, right, is my direct object. Now, because Rachel and I or me is the direct object, I use the objective case of the pronoun and I choose me. And if I dropped the name, it would read the group found me after a day long search. All right, number two, the stranger gave we, us, a treasure map. In this sentence, I have an action verb gave. Stranger is my subject. Let's look for a direct object. The stranger gave what? Treasure map is my direct object. And when I have a direct object, if there are words left over in between the verb and the direct object, I should see if it's an indirect object. The stranger gave a treasure map to whom? 
that's the pronoun choice. Now, because it is the indirect object of the sentence, I want to choose the objective case, which is us. The stranger gave us a treasure map. All right, number three, Sue climbed the mountain with they or them. Now, this pronoun is preceded by a preposition, with. So I'm going to take the objective case and say with them. Now, the last case is actually quite simple, possessive. You understand how to use them um, pretty well. There's just a couple situations to talk about where you might not have been sure that you should or could use the possessive case. So the rule is that possessive pronouns are used to show ownership or relationships. And they can show ownership of gerunds, gerund phrases, but not participles. Quick review of gerunds, ing verbs cannot be removed. Remember those from our phrases unit. All right, please write down the list of possessive pronouns. Those words are my, mine, your, yours, his, her, hers. It's our, ours, their, and theirs. Let's take a look at some examples. We, us, our, searching the area led to they, them, their recovery. So first of all, I see my verb in the sentence my action verb led. What's the subject? It's the searching of the area, which is a gerund. If you have a gerund, you can show possession of it. So we want to take the possessive case, our search in the area, led to, and then we have they, them, their recovery. So in this one, the word there should be used because we're showing possession of the recovery. Whose is it? It's theirs. Number two, no one objected to he, him, his climbing the mountain. First of all, climbing the mountain is a gerund because I can't take it out. No one objected to he, him, his wouldn't make any sense um, because I can't take it out. It's a gerund. So I'm going to use the possessive case in this one. Who does the climbing of the mountain belong to? Him. And so it's his climbing of the mountain. And lastly, we saw he, him, his climbing the mountain. So first of all, what type of phrase is climbing the mountain? It's not a gerund because you can drop it. You can say we saw him or he or his. And so it, this one is not going to be a gerund, but it is going to be a participle. And we don't show possession of participles, so we say we saw him climbing the mountain.